It could have been worse. Fuck that. Of course it could have been worse. Everything can be worse. But this was just as bad as it was. My friend and my roommate and I went to see a movie. It was very dark. It's a tricky left to make, lots of confusing signs. And for whatever reason, I was distracted. And when I made the left on a green light where I thought I had the right of way and I shouldn't have made that left, but I did. When I turned, I was hit immediately on the right front corner of my car. The only thing I remember before the accident is my roommate saying, wait, no. My friend was bleeding and her knee was completely gashed open. I looked to the middle compartment of my car and my glasses were sitting on the center console. <laughs> I had whiplash after the accident, we all did. And the first thing I said to the police officers when they got there was, it's my fault. That was drilled into my brain that it was entirely my fault within the first 30 seconds after. I'd never been in a situation quite this bad before, but whenever I was feeling overwhelmed or there was something I just couldn't deal with internally that I needed to get out of myself, I would immediately write it down. I didn't write this piece until three months after it happened. That tells me that I must have really been in a weird place to not immediately turn to my like primary coping mechanism. For the first couple weeks, I would have flashbacks to the accident and these thoughts of terrible guilt and dread at the thought of driving people anywhere ever again. And I, I didn't have the storage space for that. So writing has always been just a way for me to dump something. And it gives me more space to follow the creative pursuits I really want to and to create something that's not as raw as this. Whenever I heard it could have been worse, I was reminded just how insignificant my experience was or it was to them. It could have been worse was really a product of anger. So this was a weird thing for me to write and part of me was afraid to write it, which I think is partially why it took me so long. When I sat down to write it, I just let it come out of me. It might be able to let people know what they should say to someone after something like this. Don't tell me I'm lucky to be alive. I am alive. Tell me how sorry you are that I lost my car, lost my weekend, lost all the fragile confidence that I'd built up over four years of driving in an instant. Tell me how sorry you are that I caused the other driver's stress and cost her time and money and tears. Tell me how sorry you are for me. But don't fucking tell me it could have been worse.